at you this afternoon from Sheboygan, Wisconsin. The city of Sheboygan is on the shores of Lake Michigan, about 50 miles north of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Yeah, it's a small city, about 50,000 people. And uh, it's known and famous for bratwurst. This is the home of the bratwurst. And anybody from Wisconsin who knows about a good bratwurst, he knows they all come from Sheboygan. So, also a small manufacturing city. It's a maritime town also. They have a port, a harbor, a marina. And you know, an agricultural city too. There's a lot of agriculture around here. They're also known for the uh, PGA tournaments they have here at Wishland Straits golf course and that's about it for Sheboygan it's a uh, pretty diverse city it's mostly white city but there's blacks Asians Hispanics quite a sizable Hmong community here and uh, pretty good variety of people pretty safe city low crime I don't really have gangs or anything per se here you know some little wannabes but the crime is very low the school system is pretty good here no uh, it's a nice little city I'm gonna take you for a little walk here through the downtown see some of the architecture in the buildings it's not a huge commercial city I don't have a lot of uh, fashion or shopping or stuff like down here this is mostly bars restaurants small businesses Jewelry stores, some mom and pop stores. There's a little entertainment down here. I'm actually fairly familiar with this town. I used to live just south of the city here in Cedar Grove. It's not a bad city. Pretty quiet. You can see this is a Sunday afternoon and there ain't much going on although there was a Packer game going on so probably everybody's inside partying and drinking and watching the game it's not too bad of a day out today it's mid 40s for temperature no snow on the ground yet in Wisconsin which is pretty amazing for this time of the year but I'll take it helps me make videos and stay warm they don't have any malls or anything in the city of Sheboygan per se they used to have a small mall but they've converted that now into individual box retailer stores they have some decent beaches here in the city they are known for uh, known as the uh, Malibu of the Midwest for the freshwater surfing on Lake Michigan you do get some pretty decent sized waves here and you will find people surfing out there even in the snow and the ice they'll get out there Get on your surfboards and hang ten. But yeah, they are definitely known for that. You will see hordes of surfers out here certain days when the, when the waves are really huge. The Sheboygan is also has the Sheboygan River running through the town. Small little river that they use for little commercial port at one time there's not too much commercial activity on it anymore uh, other than probably sport fishing charter fishing they'll take you out on Lake Michigan out of here there's a mix of architecture down here new and old as you can see some newer looking apartments the tallest building over there, the U.S. Bank building. And then you got some, a little bit older library, older buildings, older architecture. A 
pretty good mix of, of, of different architecture. Quite turn on the Christmas lights yet. That's, don't know how decked out the city is. I can see there's quite a bit of stuff around the poles here. We definitely got lights on them. It's not dark enough yet. Yeah, they got some decorations up there in the park. Not too busy down here this, this afternoon. I'm sure everybody's watching the game. We don't have a very big downtown. Like I said, there's not a lot of shopping or stuff. Most of the municipal buildings, small businesses. Quite a few restaurants and bars. There's some pretty good restaurants in downtown, in uh, Sheboygan too. They do have some pretty good places to eat. PGA tournaments that draws quite a crowd to the city. Quite a bit of money coming in. There is some high end shopping in the town of Kohler, which is just west of here. Not super high end, but a lot better than some of the places that you can find down here. I mean, it's not. It's not a major shopping center or something like that, but they have some more expensive boutiques and shops, chocolate shops and stuff in that town. Yeah, just a small little old school Wisconsin downtown down here, guys. Pretty clean city. You don't see litter everywhere. Graffiti or nothing like that. Definitely a cool place to raise your family. Don't have to worry about your kids running around outside. Nothing like that. Cost of living isn't bad here either. Houses anywhere from low hundred thousands on up. Get a decent house here. There's no bad neighborhoods. So you don't really you're not gonna you know you're not gonna find yourself in a ghetto or nothing like that living in this city. Rents are pretty decent out here. Eight hundred bucks. Eight hundred bucks on up for a decent apartment, depending on the size of apartment you need. And it's not too far from Milwaukee. So if you want a little bit of a bigger city to live in, or to go visit and shopping, you can live here and go down there without a problem within a day and be back in no time. I mean, it's not that far to Milwaukee at all. Traffic's not bad going down there either.
Yeah. Sheboygan. There is another Sheboygan in Michigan. Not to be, not to confuse with this one. They spell theirs with a C. This is spelled with an S. I have had the honor of visiting that town one time. It's not nearly as big as this Sheboygan. And not nearly as nice. Although they do have a view of the UP from there, so I give them that. <laughs> you can see Lake Michigan off in the distance there. They have a pretty nice little uh, marina here with some restaurants and small shops and stuff. And uh, a nice harbor resort hotel on Lake Michigan. A really nice beach there. summertime it's a great place to hang out and go to people fishing on the pier and out by the lighthouse on the breakwaters just a nice little seaside town here are the seagulls Walking. I'll take you guys down to the Sheboygan River down here and end this video. So we're just about out of downtown here. The rest is all residential. You got quite a bit of commercial stuff in this town too. Anything you would need that you could find in a big in a bigger city, you can find here. The only thing they don't have, like I said, is is a uh, major shopping like. Uh, high-end shopping luxury retail goods for that you got to go to Milwaukee or for that matter Chicago nice town nice day out can't argue for the summer with this weather. As you see, we're out of the downtown area. There isn't too much out here. Car sales, liquor store, apartments. That's about the gist of Sheboygan. Hope you guys like my videos. A thumbs up. Like, subscribe. Leave a comment. I always get to people's comments. I read them all. I answer back. Hopefully my videos will start getting better. Get a better camera here soon. Keep taking you guys on adventures. I know a lot of people don't get the chance to get out much. I get out all the time, so I figure why not share it with the world. I think I go to interesting places and might as well start sharing it with people. Should have been doing this years ago. I've been to over 20 countries. Gonna put all of that on YouTube. But you know what they say? So long as you're upright, you can always go back. So that's what we're gonna try and do, guys. Is take you around for those that aren't able to get out there and travel or scared to travel or whatever their reasoning is can't afford it whatever they're not adventurous some people can't sit in cars for a long time they hate airplanes I get it so that's why I'm here I'll take you to see those places I'll show you guys the world over this way there's a bunch of apartments and condos restaurants 
place is the docking boat. A pretty nice marina here actually. So this is the Sheboygan River, empties out into Lake Michigan. This is about where I'm going to end my video here. Do a little tour of the city of Sheboygan. Again, like and subscribe. Super out.